Meanwhile, in a neighborhood not too far from the capital of Ohio. A production brought to you by Devin Washington. What you are about to witness was based on true events. Viewer discretion is not advised. Hello folks, and welcome to another video. What we have today will be another unboxing. The contents that lie underneath this cover are a mystery. You don't know what it is. Even I don't know what it is. Actually, I do know what it is. I was just kidding. <clears throat> Today, guys, is going to be an unboxing of the X Box Series X. All right, so I'm going to just uh, share a little bit of information with you guys uh, before we start with our unveiling. But the uh, Series X, ever since its launch back in November of 2020, along with the PlayStation 5, have been very hard to come by due to the chip shortage, due to coronavirus, due to scalpers scalping the internet and bots acquiring these purchases at a faster rate than humans were even able to uh, do a checkout themselves. Console shortage has been a ongoing hassle for everyone. I will say that within the last six to seven months, I think we definitely have been seeing a better turnaround when it comes to trying to purchase one of these consoles. I remember back around the time that I did secure a PlayStation 5, which was around July 2021, Xbox Series X was a lot harder to come by, at least in my experience. And I was a little bit hesitant to try very, uh, very many other sites. You know, you have GameStop, Target, Amazon, Best Buy. All these places are, um, you know, restocking the consoles every now and then when the shipments come in. If you're lucky enough, there are people on the internet that devote their time and effort and dedication to giving us, the people, information and news ahead of time for when these consoles will be back in stock. If you are paying attention to a few of these uh, content creators or a few of these enthusiasts, then your likelihood of being able to achieve a purchase is going to be a lot higher than by chance because a lot of these purchases are happening through the internet rather than in-store purchases. You have had several instances where stores are doing in-store restock, but we've seen the kind of traffic that it will generate. People camping out overnight. Meanwhile, in a parking lot, I processed the situation before me. Human beings, when pushed far enough, will do anything for that hot new piece of merchandise. Yeah, just so y'all know, for the viewing audience out here, those uh, people are waiting all the way down to Golf Galaxy. So it's quite the turnout. Uh, down here at Best Buy waiting for those video cars to drop in the morning and me I'm going to bed good night long lines long lines in order to even get a chance to uh, come across a purchase so I will say that one of the sources that I have been following on Twitter with notifications on is Matt Swider he has been very accurate with his postings when um, any store is going to be doing a restock he stays on top of it I will link his Twitter in the description of this video and also probably on the screen somewhere here so you guys will be able to go to his page and see what he's about and uh, see what uh, latest of uh, news that he has in store as far as console restocks. GPU restocks as well. And with that out of the way, let's get into the unboxing. 
Alrighty, folks, I hope that you are ready. Because I am. Are you? The moment of amazement comes now. Encore! Encore! A true triumphant! We didn't have a fancy shipping box like we had with the PlayStation 5 from GameStop because this purchase I actually got from Best Buy. And um, <clears throat> it was just a standard Xbox Series X uh, by itself, so I decided to uh, get myself an Aqua Shift. Xbox controller. I love how uh, I love how the colors um, go from you know your light to darker. There, that's uh, pretty fancy looking, I think. And to go along with that, I decided to get myself a dual charging station because you can never be too careful. Always got to make sure one controller is a hundred percent and ready to go while. Your other controller, you know, is in play, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see, it says it charges up to 40 hours. I'm sure that will be subject to change, if you know what I mean. <laughs> After a period of time, you know, our controllers, uh, they don't last as long as we would intend them to. Hmm. Oh, but we can't. We can't keep the prize out of view here. So actually what we'll do is we'll just set this over here. We'll set these over here for now. And uh, along with the purchase, I did decide to pick up uh, Forza Horizon 5, Xbox Game Pass for three months, and Halo Infinite, because we are definitely ready to get back into the Halo campaign here pretty soon. Now you're probably saying, hey Devin, you know, Xbox Game Pass actually has Forza Horizon 5 and Halo Infinite uh, available uh, through them. So, technically, I wouldn't have even needed to pay for these separately. But, I am um, I am an old school guy, and I like to have the physical copies of these games. And plus, you know, the Steel book is pretty cool, too. This came free with the purchase of Halo Infinite uh, for a Best Buy deal which was pretty nice. But yes, I do like to have the physical versions of these games just because, you know, it's nice to look at them and uh, appreciate the, uh, the craftsmanship, if you know what I'm saying. I will say that I do miss the old school, full, colorful page booklets that they used to add with these games. They don't technically do that anymore. Kind of wish that was something that they uh, still did, but you know, Times have passed. This is the way that it is now. So, but digital purchases are good too. They uh, come in handy, you know. No discs I have to worry about. Um, and most of our games that we play anyway these days, the larger install is in a digital file itself rather than the actual disc. I mean, we can play these games digitally now. We don't really need the disc. But like I said. It's always nice to have a physical copy just in case later down the line, if I want to sell these, you know, I can get a pretty decent price for them. But now, can you feel the power? As I can. The official unveiling of the Series X. And right there on the front, it is a beautiful machine. I did try to purchase the Halo version, but, you know, we uh, weren't exactly lucky enough to uh, get one of those just yet. There may be an opportunity, I might do something like that later, I don't know yet, but the Series X in itself is fantastic enough. So what comes inside the box, you ask? We have 4K, 120 FPS resolution. We have 8K HDR ready for those high resolution gameplay sessions. Xbox Velocity Architecture. One terabyte solid That's state drive. Hey PlayStation 5, did you say something?
I see one terabyte solid state drive. Oh, okay. I'll remember that. Also, variable refresh rate and 4K Blu-ray player. Just in case you want to purchase those uh, ultra high definition 4K uh, Blu-ray DVDs when you're watching Avengers, when you're watching uh, Suicide Squad, um, you will get the best high fidelity on-screen performance in visuals. The Xbox Series X has it all. Alrighty, what do we got here? Power your dreams. The fastest, most powerful Xbox ever. Redefine speed with the Xbox Velocity architecture. We did read that already. Play thousands of games across four generations of Xbox. Because I do believe that these are backwards compatible. And Game Pass, unlimited access to 100 high quality games. 100 plus. Membership sold separately, but we got one of those anyway, doesn't matter. Alrighty, everyone, we have now come to the cutting part, which it doesn't look like it's going to be too complicated. I think we'll want to... We want to rotate it that way after we have uh, severed the tape from the box here. So let's give it a good slicing without damaging the side of the boxes that would be uh, appreciated by our friend here inside. Let's see if that was all we had to cut. So we'll just give it a good rotation here. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, we got two more. Two more pieces. So let's see if this is power your dreams. Hmm. This is a fancy, fancy setup that we got here. So let's just be careful with taking it out. Woo, it's pretty heavy, honestly. All right. And I'm sure all of our cords are in the back there. Hmm. Uh, instructions. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and... Uh, Throw that one in there for y'all. But yeah, let's take this, slide this off here. And we'll unwrap. Unwrap our delicate machine from its confinement. That is sexy. That is nice. I like it. So, we're going to sit you right here to face the audience if you like. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else we got? We got all the, all the cords and the instructions here. 
power adapter, HDMI, as well as our included controller. along with a battery pack. Now that is a lot of power. The power As a famous scientist would say, the power of the box in the palm of my hand. <laughs> All righty, I love it. All right, we're just gonna uh, close up. Actually, was there anything else in here? Anything hiding underneath? Alrighty, go back to your scheduled program. you buy something and you try after you've opened it up and you try to put it back the way you found it it never works okay there wait <laughs> I mean we gotta put that stuff back in but we'll do that another day We'll do that another day. Okay. We'll take a look at that. Ah! Hello. Okay. <laughs> we'll take a look at that another day. Here, yeah, let's just conveniently toss this on in. That's a nice box. <laughs> hmm. Nah, we don't need to do that. All right. All righty, guys. I think we are near the end game here let's get this bad boy hooked up and see what happens all right everybody the moment of truth has arrived everything's all plugged in so let's give our machine a test Woo! that was an interesting sound effect Doo -doo -doo. and we got the hdmi hooked in to the back of the tv here Oh, alrighty, we have life. You know what? I always miss the, I guess, the, uh, I always miss, like, the realization of these, like, consoles, like, when you first start them up, because I never have the sound on. I think I have the sound on now, so... <laughs> Let's go ahead and we're going to pair the controller, but let's see if we get sound. Alrighty, I don't know if we're going to get sound or not. Yeah. 
Okay, actually, we're not going to wait for the sound for now because there is a code on the uh, code on the screen that I'm not going to reveal just yet. So what I will do is we will get a controller paired here. Then hopefully it's pairing both of them. It knows it knows a wireless device is trying to connect to it. Alrighty guys, the controller is paired, Xbox is on, we're going to save all the configuration uh, setup for the back burner for now. So I just wanted to uh, thank you guys for uh, checking this video out. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have any crazy robot. I was thinking Cortana, Cortana was probably going to... Uh, make a uh, reveal but it looks like we're gonna have to set everything up through the uh, through the app at least that's what it's telling me so that's what we're gonna get to but um, I am definitely feeling a um, renewed uh, sense of uh, I'm feeling a renewed sense of what's the word I'm, I'm looking for and I am feeling a renewed sense of confidence in filming and um, getting out uh, videos to you guys here lately. So I really think what I'm going to start doing is now that my Resident Evil videos are caught up for the moment, I'm still trying to get part 8 up right now. It is actually still processing. That is is going to be something that I'm going to try to uh, definitely get worked on and uh, get um, get live for you guys here pretty soon. But I am definitely feeling like I want to start um, uh, playing some of these uh, Xbox games and even going into PlayStation 5 and start doing uh, some more playthroughs. So I'm definitely going to be bringing that to you guys here pretty soon once I get uh, some things in order here and... Uh, we will be able to move forward with that. So, guys, thank you for checking this video out. If you haven't yet, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Any feedback on the channel, whether it's positive or negative, I definitely appreciate it. It gives our channel here uh, good engagement, and I would definitely like to hear from you guys. If there's any kinds of tips or tricks you want to give me, uh, any games that you recommend, that uh, I should try out. Definitely uh, throw those in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We're going to beat COVID. Hope you all have a good time. Until next time. One terabyte of space!